Hey guys, welcome back to Billy Ray Garage. Uh, today's video, we are jumping into the line lock. I put that in a while ago. As you can see here, while I put in the fluid side of it, I just have not hooked up the wire side, as you can see the wire right here. We are gonna shove that through that little boot there. We're gonna shove that through the firewall and we're gonna run it up into the dash and the center console where we will hook up the switches. So we got our toggle switch to turn the system on and off and then the button which will eventually light up and you'll be able to press it. I'm pretty sure I have it where I press it and it's gonna lock it but we'll find that out in the end or if you have to hold it down the whole time and then let it go. I would tell you the deal with that but I think my girlfriend threw out the directions that were sitting on my kitchen table. So slight problem there. So I'm doing this off memory. But lucky for me, I twisted wires together. I'm pretty sure this one goes to the light and the power to this. And the blue wire goes to there. And the other wire goes to a 12 volt source. The black wire is the ground. And I forget what these yellow ones do, but I know we weren't gonna use them. So I'm doing this off memory. I will post up on the screen here whether it worked or not. So let's go back in time to when that was installed. And then we'll get to present day when I wire it up and we do all our fun stuff and test it out. All right guys, we're gonna mock up this line lock here. Now you gotta move a couple things out of the way. You have this sensor and I believe there's an ABS sensor down here. But you gotta get both of them off so you could get a clear place to mount this here. But you're supposed to drill two holes through this bracket and screw the line lock onto here. You gotta get the stuff out of the way. So I'm just gonna drop it down low, get it out of the way, and then start removing some lines and mock this thing up. So let me get that ready and we'll get going. All right guys, got those two clips taken out here. Now we are going to work on removing the line here. I don't know if you can see it, but right in there, this light's probably too bright, but it says MC1. We're gonna remove that and just put it off to the side. And when we put the line lock in place we're going to mock this up get it in place and then we got a mark for two holes to be drilled here these holes are too big for the screws that come in the kit which is unfortunate but we'll have to make do we'll mark it and start drilling now this abs wire gets in the way it's pretty stiff which is kind of annoying but yeah we're gonna do what we gotta do let me get some tools for that and we'll knock that out all right guys, gonna remove this line. It is a 13 millimeter, I got a line wrench. That one's loose, so we got paper towels here just in case. Again, this is MC1 that you wanna do. This controls the front brakes allegedly. Just try and lift that out of the way. Okay, cool, that's out of the way. And then we're gonna drop the line lock down in here. We'll get this one started just so it's lined up. Then we can mark our holes and do what we gotta do. Snug this down all the way so we get a good proper alignment. All right, so that's where it wants to be. All right, guys, I ended up uh, disconnecting the ABS wiring and I disconnected the ground here, the body ground, and just to get some room in here because there's like none. But what I want to do is, you, know, you see some scratch marks there and some scratch marks there. Those are my marks for my holes. And I use a little punch to kind of make it a little divot. I'm going to start with a tiny ass little hole and then I'm going to size it up to the, the self-tapping screws that they give you and try and match that up. I'll tell you the size when I get to that. But first I'm going to draw a tiny little hole just so I have an idea of where I'm going. All right guys, I got a 564 drill bit. I'm going to see if I could get in my little groove there, which I just did. Cool. All right guys, directions don't tell you what size to use, but an eighth inch looks like it'll work. One eighth of an inch. So I'm gonna draw out the rest of this. Okay, eighth inch here. Okay, and then for ha ha's, I'm gonna start the screws that it comes with, these little itty bitty guys. I'm gonna start it in there. Seems like it's a little small, but that's okay. But I'm gonna get it started and let it do its self-tapping abilities. 
And once I get both of these started, then I will mount up the line lock. All right, guys, I got a 516 nut driver. I'm going to see if I could just work this the rest of the way in, which seems to be going very nicely cutting into there. So, all right, cool. So we got that one started. Let me back that out. And I'm going to start the other one, get this guy ready to go. All right, cool. So we are started. All right, something I wanted to show you guys real quick. There's a jam nut down here that presses this whole thing together. It's right here. I'm not sure what size it is yet. That's something I'm going to want to snug up at the end. So the whole point of this thing is so you could spin that whole bottom piece so you get it in the position you want to go to the brake line that feeds it. So as you can tell, let's see if I can get in there. So that says brake and it doesn't say anything on the bottom. So this part is going to the ABS. You want to position this bottom one to where it'll reach the line that feeds in. All right, guys, I'm going to get this thing started so that we can get it in place, which my hole is right there. So now let's run this home. And that is home. And so are you. All right, so now I got this thing still loose, so I can still wiggle it around if I need to. So I'm gonna start this bottom line. Let's see if I get a good view of it. I really can't. There's really no room in here to freaking record. Okay, so it seems like we're gonna end up over here. Put this guy down here. Get that inside. I think we got it. Okay, we're gonna leave that there. So this line down here is an 11 millimeter. I'm gonna snug that up. Nothing crazy. And this one can get snugged up too. This one is also an 11 millimeter. Probably want to use a line wrench for this, but I'm being lazy, so we're going with this. What size are you? 13? Yep, 13. So I'm going to snug this one down and then put the line wrench on it so I don't strip the shit out of it. Don't want to go too crazy on this thing. Tightening it up. All right, that's about as tight as I want to go. All right, guys, I'll show you what I did. The line goes right here, comes up. Now, the best way to do it appears to be sending this small end through up here and dropping it down and around and getting that tightened up. So, got to get these two to jive. That's not going to be fun. It doesn't appear. All right, so now let's see if I can just take this line and twist it a little bit that way without damaging it. There we go. Yeah, it looks like you have to play with this thing a little bit just to get it. All right, I think I got it. So yeah, this little brass fitting here, that is a 16 millimeter. So I'm gonna crank down on here, that's a 13 millimeter. And then I'm gonna work on the bottom one. I don't know what size that is yet, but I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, so 13 millimeter. Snug you a little bit, get the wine wrench on there. And snug, nothing too crazy. That is also a 13 millimeter. So, getting a line wrench in there sucks, so I'm gonna use a regular wrench. I'm gonna spin this this way, yep, that's loose. So you definitely wanna pay attention to this guy down here. All right guys, so like I said before, you're trying to get onto the ground here and you just take one of these black wires and divvy it up. I'm just going to lay it just like that. And the kit comes with a little ring terminal. We're going to throw that on and obviously cut that wire back and land it right on the ground. Do a little tug test. It's not coming off. And then just route you right there. And you got to put your little 10 millimeter nut back on. Do a little snug. So that's in. There, right, guys. So what I decided is I'm going to put the toggle switch and the momentary switch right here. It's safe. It's out of the way. I can't accidentally hit it because of the armrest. You basically have to intentionally flip the switch, hold the button. But first things first. Gotta take this out. So in order to get in there, 
you open that up so just pull that comes up this comes out there we go all right so then this thing eventually comes out and you got a couple plugs underneath one plug for the windows and one is for the traction control so this whole thing comes out yay so here's our windows here's our traction control uh one other thing to remember when you take this thing out there is a little screw there you're gonna need a little stubby screwdriver and that goes back in here i don't know if i get low enough yeah you can see it it would go right into there so make sure you take that screw out before you start pulling this out or you're gonna break it and as far as the center center console piece i figure if i take a dremel cut this out this these two squares rectangles and get this nice and open and then we can put our little momentary switch in there or a little push button but we'll see what happens let me uh let me mess with this and we'll see what we get okay guys i don't know if you'll be able to read the screen but we are looking for a 12 volt source now you can go in there there's a cigarette lighter that is not in this vehicle but there's still an attachment for it so there's voltage there now i'm using that voltage for the voltmeter on one of my gauges but there's a handy little harness here that goes to the light in here, goes to this uh, little charger, little 12 volt outlet. So I think we're gonna try and tap off of that. So just to show you, I already know that this bottom left one right there constantly has power because that's controlling the light. I will show you right here as I ground it. So you got 11.8 volts on that one. Now all the other ones are dead. There's only five of them. There's nothing in this middle one. So you got your 11 volts there. Nothing, 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 nothing. One of them's a ground, but I'm going to turn the key and I'm going to try and find the one that goes to this guy, this little charger down here. And I'm going to tap off that for a 12 volt. So let's see if we can find it. Alrighty. Let's put the key in the ignition, turn that bitch on. Okay, we're in ground, and there's nothing in that top one, nothing there, nothing there. So the middle one seems to have voltage now, and that one doesn't. That one doesn't. That one does. All right, cool. All right, guys, so on this little plug here, we already know the bottom one. The bottom left corner had voltage when the key was off. This top left one and this middle one had voltage when I turned the key. So we're definitely not tapping off of the black and orange. So the yellow one had voltage and the brown and yellow had voltage. So we're going to tap off the brown and yellow or just the yellow. I'm not sure yet, but we're going to pick off one of them to give us power to our line lock out there. And then we're going to divvy it up and figure out the rest of it as we go i was able to shove a hanger through that little rubber thing and shove it into the cab let's see if i can show you in here so as you can see my hangers right here and i'm coming up through the top somewhere up there and i'm going to pull that one wire from the line lock through now i took the body control module out i took this little kick paddle out the glove box so now I'm going to try and pull this wire through. I have it taped up and uh, wish me luck. All right, hopefully this works. Now I'm doing this by myself like an idiot. So it's getting wrapped up on stuff. So either get a second person or just keep checking up there. Okay, guys, got my uh, wire in. And I think my plan of attack is to kind of loop it over here in between here. Because there's like a little kick panel here put it through here and run it down here down along here and then i should be able to just shove it up and in and tuck it all nice up there just keep it out of the way of everything so let me do that real quick and i'll show you what i got all right guys show you what i did here so so one of the blue wires you can pick one of the blue wires goes to the wire that goes to the line lock itself and then we're gonna have the blue and red wire connected to one of the legs off of the toggle, which I put inside of here. Boop, boop. So that is taken care of. 
And then the other leg off the toggle, which goes to a hot source, a 12 volt source. I used my own fuse. So there's a five amp fuse in there. I already put that in. And then I took that and I spliced it into the yellow wire for the 12 volt plug. So that's our 12 volt source. And then our ground, which is the black wire, I spliced it with a brown wire, but I tapped that into the ground also on the 12 volt source. And these extra yellow wires, I just put a shrinky over them and shrunk it up so it's not in the way in case we want to use this for future things. Now I'm going to clean all this little spaghetti monster up. That is no big deal, but now I need to go on to the cup holder portion so I could cut in our little button here and then we could plug this in and we should be golden. But first I want to test it out and make sure it actually clicks when it's supposed to click. All right guys, moment of truth. Let's see if this thing works. So I'm going to turn the key, get power going to everything. And then I'm going to flip that toggle switch that's down there. And when I flip the toggle switch, this should light up telling us that we're good. And I should be able to just press this button and hear the solenoid on the line lock activating. So got break on. Let's turn the key. All right, so we got that. So no light here yet because I got to flip the toggle switch. So here we go. Oh. We got light, so we did something good. So let's listen for the solenoid. There it goes. I don't know if you can hear it. But I will put the camera in the engine bay and then you can hear it for yourself. Okay, so hopefully you heard that. So now we're gonna see, I don't know if it'll work with the car off, like with the car in the accessory position, but let's try it out and see what happens. So we're gonna flip this to on. You are on. Okay, so that's lit up, telling us that we're good. The sun's in the way, so you can't really tell, but it is lit up. Let's pump the brake up real quick. We'll drop the e-brake and we will press this, see if it holds, if I let go of the brake. It seems to be holding. So we're not moving and then I'm gonna let go of it. There we go, now we're rolling backwards. All right, cool, so this thing works. So uh, let me get this little cup holder thing drilled out and all set up. And then we'll slap this bad boy together and see if we can get a uh, little burnout sesh going. All right guys, here's our finished product. We got our button installed right there. I used a Dremel to clean out a bunch of that. And then I used a step bit right there to drill out the hole. So we're good. I'm going to plug this in and put this all back together. And then we'll give it like a little test. All right guys, gonna do a burnout. All right, guys, just got back from doing that little burnout. Uh, I developed a clunk in the back, and I wanted to inspect it before I went ripping it again. But as far as the line lock goes, everything worked as it was supposed to. With the clunk, I just didn't want a chance that I wanted to get under there and inspect it. But everything worked. So once I figured out what that clunk was, it doesn't seem like it was anything like drivetrain related. I think it has something to do with the suspension because I really haven't beaten on the car because I've been working all the time. But like, yeah, I've redlined it, straight line and stuff, but never really put it through its paces going through turns and stuff. So maybe the suspension's settling a little bit and something's clunking. My suspension is the tow rod and the sway bar end link are getting after it. So, I mean, I'll inspect that and uh, get back to you. But like I said, I wanna get that like awesome action video, just beating the hell out of this thing, get an honest, video of how I feel about most of the things that were done to the car. Obviously the power's there, so that's gonna be pretty awesome. 
But uh, as far as the suspension goes and how stiff it is and like really putting this thing pretty close to its limit. It probably won't go to its limit because I have summer tires on this thing and it's getting to be winter. So kind of might have to dial it back a little bit, but I can still push it a little bit. But we'll get my opinion on that in a f hopefully a week or two, maybe after Thanksgiving. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. You know the deal. You have any questions about doing this line lock, I'll be glad to answer them. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.